Hi, um, John here from Pudley RC doing a little review on the um, Sony 600 TVL Super Hard Camera well, This, I think, in my opinion, is probably the best FPV camera for this kind of small quad <coughs> It's um, easily fits onto a 250, probably a 180 as well and it comes with a mount that is, you can swivel it up and down. That's one of the main things that I like, apart from the picture quality, of course. But I do like that little mount there. <clears throat> now, my friend he got one and he only had the one hole, so all we had to do was drill another hole into the middle so it would fit in there nicely. <clears throat> I've got um, made a lead up because it comes with a lead. I'll just get the lead. It comes with a lead, but because there's a, this is a lead it comes with, it comes with this lead here, and this lead is for the program in it. <clears throat> now, if you look in the back there, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oops. If you look at the back there, you can see where it goes into the top, but there's only one slot like um, this camera or the Ruby one has two slots one on the bottom for the picture in one at the side for your programming buttons <coughs> this comes with a rocker it's got a little rocker switch on it here and all I did was solder um, audio connector on that end and a battery connector on this end that plugs into that then it powers from the battery and it plugs into a TV on the um, video channel excuse me some people might not have the yellow <coughs> just the yellow video in so I got was one of these just plugs into there like that and it goes into a scout lead most tellers have got scout leads now and if it's got an um, HDMI TV then they opt for the just this connector going into your TV because my base station is not working up properly I've had to connect it to the lead connect it to the camera connected to the battery, connected to the wire, connected to the wire, connected to the wire, connected to the wire, connected to the TV. So, I've got the Sony 5V to 22V plastic case mini 600TVL Sony Super Hard CCD Super FPV camera with the 2.8mm lens from the Seville Zone connected up to um, my TV because I was getting fantastic fantastic picture quality through my goggles but on the base station not so much um, I'm not sure if it's down to the immersion RC video receiver on that or the some sort of setup I don't know but anyway <clears throat> what I've done is I've connected it to the TV so you can see the quality of the um, FPV camera and to be honest it's fantastic quality those colours are pretty much true to what I can see with my own eyes. A lot of cameras I've used, um, it gets too close to the grass, the grass goes like it's been on fire, all brown and, and bleached and burnt. I'll just move this around a little bit. <coughs> Blues are nice and blue, greens are nice and green. Skies, probably not as, as Dark blue was that but who cares? Set this back up stationary. Buttons locked in. So now I'll just run you through my setup for this camera. <coughs> we have a lens on manual. Exposure to that and show all brightness 50. 
home and to that we slip through the eight. Go over there. I'll go a little bit slower. You have the backlight off. You have the right balance on the manual. Colour temperature manual. Blue 50. Red 45. Day and night automatic. Day and night level 144. 3 second delay. 112. Second delay to the special. Cam title on. Obviously, you saw the name at the top. Put the RC. Put that myself. Um, come adjust. Two thousand Just off to the inner on, remember off font color. That's for your these fonts. Contrast one ten, sharpness two four. LCD. When you press this, you put your lens cover on, and it does this stuff. Just have your lens cover on for that. And you set. Okay, set. That's it. For some reason, it says Sony CCD 650 TVL in the top corner, but the one I had purchased from Surveil's on is plastic case mini 600 TVL Sony Super Hard CCD. So, what that is, I don't know. <coughs> And there you have it. Lovely, lightweight camera. Probably had a bit of later on footage to this video. But later on, when it's a bit darker. Yeah. Time now is 20 to 9. The sun's going down just before twilight. Time is seven minutes to nine. Sun's gone down. Starting to get dark. Five, six minutes past nine. Street lights are on. Still going strong. Still holding colour. Nine fifteen. Believe me, it's dark outside. Time is 21.19. Automatic black and white mode. Time is half past nine. 30, 32 minutes past nine. And it is dark outside now. Them street lights don't give a right lot of light off, but that's not too bad for the day camera, not bad at all. Thanks for watching. Bye!